Hello and welcome to round 18, Circuit of the Americas. And today we've got a track that's got a lot of different corners, a few straights that need a low downforce setup, but soft suspension to keep the grip through the S corners that you see in the first and third sector there. We're going to skip in a couple of seconds to the qualifying comparison between Broadway, Stig's DK Cousin and Isa Musing. Hockey! <laughs> okay, so with that highly professional introduction there, across the line we've got two cars heading backwards it seems, and that's normal, but breaking down to the first corner you want to break at 120 meters even in the wet because the uphill tends to take away the lockups. Uh, you want to get as much on the curbs through this section like that, seeing as on Eyes Amusing screen, just not cutting too much. I've absolutely cut that corner though. But losing the speed a bit there, you want to take, keep a tight apex there to open up this corner here. As you can see, Eyes Amusing's already up, and uh, Broadway and Stig's DK Cousin getting a lot of oversteer out of that section there, which is losing them time. Breaking down at the first board there. Want to get it as tight to the apex as possible, avoiding that curb on the exit. Now this long straight is one of, one of the most boring in the sport because you have to just wait and go up the gears. And it's right about now that you fall asleep and hit the barrier at the end. Breaking at the second, just before the second board there. Um, eyes amusing, or as lot, everybody gets a bit of uh, oversteer into that corner there. And through here it's very difficult to keep the car straight and get no oversteer or understeer as possible. Down into here you want to just clip that apex if possible. Stig's DK Cousin getting it right, Broadway getting it a bit wrong into the last section here. And you want to keep it nice and tight, not going out to the curb there. Same here again, going just out to the curb. And for eyes amusing it's really over now, but Stig's DK Cousin getting a nice time as well on Broadway just a bit back. He had a lot of pace in the dry so if it's a dry race, we should see him making up lots of positions. So Eyes Amusing qualifies on pole, brought, followed by Broadway actually, and Stig's DK Cousin in third. Stealing in fourth and Winters in sixth, which is the title battle. And uh, sort of all disconnecting, so Voice Guy will start on last place in the grid. And so now we're going to welcome Stading DK and Voice Guy. Hello. So, with that qualifying, was it a shocking experience or not for you yeah, guys? Well, well, that awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it was amazing that out. the cars ca kept a the really nice pace race. considering the rain. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was kind that of a shock. Awesome, but then there might be points for me. But then again, anyway, some of the cars might have changed it, just set up a bit just to cope with the rain. The I know I didn't uh, change my setup because I used the exact same setup yeah, in the dry I as I do in the qualifier. But anyway, here we go. It's yeah. the start of the penultimate race of the season, yeah. and it should be a good one. Yeah, I totally agree. Let's see what's going on. So, we have the sack. The sack. <laughs> the stealing from sack. Oh, <laughs> the what? view from sack. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, stealing, lunging it up oh, the inside there. Oh, and the oh, oh, sack just sandwiched. Oh. Holy shit. That oh, was your dog. <laughs> your dog being classic <laughs> American, not breaking for that corner. But, um, They're used to math cars, so they don't break that often. Stealing DK losing a load of places there, though. Oh, and, uh, whoa, oh, that sorry, that? That and, uh, I think it was the other McLaren Vice guy that just punted Sag a bit. That's not going through. And also, he, I think that is Winters in his rear mirror right now. So I think it's Altusol behind Sag. Chaos. Yeah, it must be Altusol. Yeah, that's Altusol, yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah, Chaos. Vice guy just lost, lost part of his wing, I think. Uh, well, he's also trying to look to the side too, if he can seem to be like, uh, cut he's the corner. Like, I, I think Alta says on the inside, and there he is, yeah. Yeah, he got the... He's ahead of Zack. Yeah. So it's interesting that uh, Veron Zack is us using the cockpit camera. I didn't know he was using it, but um, obviously that's going to affect his uh, pace, especially on this track, as you can't really see the apexes from this camera. Yeah, he, the the track is like going uphill and downhill, so so it's a rather tricky track to. Uh, it's to a lot of sharp in. corners as well, so you can't really see where the fuck you're going. Exactly, exactly. It's a rather tricky. Yeah, on the side. you need three screens for this camera to work properly, really. Yeah, uh, I think one, so, yeah. you know, two yeah. on the sides going to see what's there. around you. 
And Alistair is just be yes, you can see here, he ca can't see Alistair at the moment. Yeah, that, so that's... And there he can see him again. Yeah, okay, that can be very dangerous. Also, yeah, getting very close to that Apex then. Uh, no Apex. idea how he got a corner cut there, because I think he was still... Oh, I think it's, lap it's it's turn 18, I think. You can easily corner cut it, because yeah. it's just uh, sort of a bump out in the middle of the track where there is some curb. Which I, also be think, I also think that the, the corner, cost, uh, corner cost system in Adam, you'll say here, is very uh, sensitive, so yeah. Uh, not in the first sector, I think. Uh, first sector oh, you can The first sector you got, just go through everything, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, well that's, that's Cody's fail, so yeah. As as you saw from my qualifying lap, I went yeah, wide on one of the turns and had the yeah, second yeah. lap. So, yeah, lost his front wing, oh. Yeah, and I think he just has, you can see he's far behind already now, so I think he has lost a lot of pace losing that part of the front wing. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, so, yeah. The so that's a very early pit but, stop, which is going to cost him a lot of time. But how did he lose the front wing? That's the question. Yeah, I think uh, I think he, I think it was him who hit Zach in the start, so oh. I think he might have been the one. Yeah, I think he lost a part of the front wing there, there in the oh, first sector. Oh. Nice. Yeah, so he's going to be effectively a pit stop behind already, because yeah. he's going to have to pit a couple of laps yeah, from he, the he end, he probably. Still, yeah, he still have to pit stop two times from now on. Yeah, I don't see his tyres lasting for that long, though. I think he's going to have to make an extra three, you know. Yeah, getting a replay off the start. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that, yeah. It's you the big D show commercial on the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, you know, sponsored. <laughs> not. It's foundly. Something. So, Just not getting any money. Yeah, Let's just look at what Steaming does, he just throws it up the inside there, yeah. hopeful. Oh, that is a lost cut like that. That was Yodel. the Yoda. There comes Vice Guy, the head of Armstrong. Yeah. So I've contacted, oh, that was a sniper from Vice Guy. I think that's, that's where Vice Guy got his penalty. I didn't know, I think he got just got his Oh, whoa, 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 that's... <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and that was <laughs> the engine. That was uh, two McLaren's involving in some serious incidents there. And Armstrong just absolutely yeah. nabbing yeah, everything. We're going to have the replay from Vice Guy. We can probably see oh. Yoda slamming into everything. Yeah. Okay, and there's one thing yeah. I have to say from that footage is Spa 2012. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah I got uh, to see you too. <laughs> Holy shit. There comes Armstrong and, oh. <laughs> and there Vice Guy got his penalty, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, holy shit, that is... <laughs> and there Vice Guy hitting oh it too. Oh my god. Zach. That is unbelievable contest going on there, holy uh, shit. I think Vice Guy just had a slight con contact with Alistair causing him to gain some speed so he couldn't break in time. Yeah, but still, holy shit, that was weird. And how did and how did uh, Yodok spin him like I, that? I, I think it was um, Zach's rear wheel oh, cutting into Yodok. Oh, the stick still comes mm -hmm. flying through Zach ah. going into the pits. Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, we are all over at already yeah, eleven. Nine. So the highlights. Not much happening in the uh, first couple of laps there. Yeah, and so a lot of flag of footage uh, at this race. So uh, yeah, sadly. Yeah, I my, I know my footage probably didn't yield much, as you can see me uh, probably out front there. Oh, you're, uh, the, you're the one just going into the straight, straight now. Yeah. yeah. And I, so and there's guy's a the one in the last sector. Quite a difference in pace. Um, as yeah. Zach getting a bit uh, close to the line there. As we're and, uh, seeing as yeah. muting. Yeah, that's as yeah, muting. He's yeah. as well. My <laughs> tire is absolutely shredded there. And um, yeah, having a few issues with my computer, so the recording isn't very good, as you can see there. But, um, you know, getting that sorted out for next season, probably. And uh, having a pretty normal stop. And yeah, no, but out to the pit, as you can see on the mini-map there. Uh, Still ahead of everyone. Yeah, but it might be close on the exit, maybe. No, I don't think so. Not sure. Yeah, that is, um, I think that is Stick the Kickers and very close. Yep. Yeah. And then we see Vice Guy go to the pits again. As we can see, he's pitting at the same time as everyone else. Yeah, yeah so, so the first pits have just cost him an extra yeah, pit stop. Yeah, but it's also and weird that uh, he can't um, drive uh, with, like, just a little bit lost of his end blade. Well, it's some sometimes it affects drivers more than others, you know. I'd, yeah. Some people can cope with it, other people. Yeah, but I, I don't think. I don't think. I think it's very bad to lose your endplay in this part of the the calendar because yeah. this, these, the first sector especially is such fast. So you really need the, need the downforce you have. Yeah, it's it's like at Silverstone and Magna Basket. I, I think, and there you also need your front wing to uh, make Silverstone, sure. you don't need a front wing. When here we see that's Ice Musing. Who see? Uh, yep. That's, I think that's Vice Guy there. Um, nice guy coming up there, so let's that, see what happens he's here. He's having guy here a couple of laps yeah. later. Oh, whoa. Whoa, I think a bit whoa, of contact there. Close. And yes. got the DRS, so he should be able to pass, but it looks like that McLaren has a lot of top speed. So, yeah. and a lot of lag. As oh, whoa, 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 that was a... Uh, and apparently the, the season champion doesn't know how to break here. 
trying to... You can see here, Bice guy uh, giving him space, but then closing the corner because Isaac is too shit low. Yeah, trying yeah, to of course get past. The, yeah. Well, uh, cutting all the corners here, Isaac. Yeah, oh, that one he didn't cut. Yeah, uh, that's something going on. Uh, and and there, Bice goes wide. Looks like he locked up a little bit there. I think so. It looks like he's so. got past there. And then another know. corner cut from our world champion. And here you can see it from Vice Guy being chased down by Ice Music. There, there gets the blue flag. I, I must yeah. have to say, spoiler alert for world champion, because at the start of this race, yeah. he wasn't going to be world champion yet. Oh, oh well, we all knew if that he, if he will finish in first, he will get it. And right now, the gap is two minutes ahead of everyone thing. else. Yeah, so, so, so and here right we see Ice just him. blasting through. Absolutely messing up that corner. And then we can see Vice Guy um, giving space if Isa were able to get on the throttle, but then Vice Guy cuts closest the corner because Isa is too slow. Yeah, yeah. It, it's of course people are just following the rules, and if the car behind can't get past, yeah, actually Vice Guy doesn't even have blue flag at the moment. Yeah, that, that's extra pretty that's odd. Good. Why do you not? That, that that's that's weird. I don't know why. That, that was just weird. He didn't after, after Isa went wide in the first turn. I didn't have to do that. Seeing Armstrong a little bit wide there. Altazoo looks pretty close. Armstrong. Uh, you, oh, there was a, oh. Oh, that, some, some battle going on there, that's sure. I think uh, Altazil might get a pass here. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's going, yeah, he's going, he's going to go wide. Breaks oh. late as well. Wow. Oh, and oh. <laughs> over <laughs> that <laughs> curve. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was very right close to that uh, curve. Uh, I, I think. Personally, that was an illegal overtake. Yeah, I think that was know. a corner curve. Yeah, that was, that was very, 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 very close to something. Um, Running it oh. very close to the limits of what's allowed, but yeah. we'll, it's after the race, we'll let him get away with that. Well, if Armstrong don't see any hunt on that, I don't think anything will be uh, done as into the... Uh, I think Armstrong knew at this point that Alistair was faster, so it yeah. was just a matter yeah. of time, so... Yeah. And there a bit of corner curve from Armstrong as well, so... Yeah, Armstrong yeah. delaying that turn because he turned in way too early. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But I think a lot of guys... Oh, no, he gets the DRS now. But I think a lot yeah, of guys actually corner it in that corner and a lot of the I don't get why he's, why he's switched down to standard mix. Well, I, think, I think it's because he has the DRS, so he's already fast, so there's no reason to burn the extra fuel, which he can use on other points of the track. They don't That's have the DRS. But you only use like the Ritz when you're trying to overtake at the straight. Yeah, I, I use the Ritz. Yeah, the rich. Uh, well, as we've seen in. Uh, oh, it is going right off there, also. Yeah, very well. Armstrong makes a bit of mistakes as well, so he can't pass him. Yeah, but as we've seen in, <coughs> as you can see in the higher split, uh, lots of people use uh, complex fuel strategies like using <laughs> rich. In, <laughs> using rich in some corners and then lean in others to gain fuel. But in this split, we don't tend to worry about that and. Uh, Will we see a pass here? I think it's too far back. It's too far away, yeah. Well, that's gonna be if he's trying to dive on the no. But I think a lot of drivers in, in the higher splits are, in, let's say for example, first sector here, if they know they're slow here, they're just going to lean because they won't have any reason to go to rich. And then exactly. they just have more fuel on the rich part of the track. Yep. Exactly. Of course, the higher drivers and the more experienced drivers. Oh, that. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, um. I must admit, personally for me, uh, I like saving all of my fuel to do the fastest lap because that's just what I like doing. And uh, I just know, like burning it all at the start just to ram everyone. I, I like to uh, use it when trying to overtake people so I got that more speed. But, but yeah, that's again a different driving style for all yep. the drivers. So, which of it, course. We've got a lot of driving styles in this split. Yep. Yeah, some yep. like to dive bump, some like to. Uh, got some, some like rally cars to crush drivers. Some yeah. NASCAR drivers and some, some Formula 1 drivers, and then we just have some retarded Frenchmen. Yeah. Yep. Retarded Frenchmen that are smell winning. Them. I smell them. <laughs> Lol. Oh well. But actually, I think when you're coming up here in a bit, you Lol might be able to see the up. turn 18 where Sidecard is warning for corner cutting in the first, in the first lap. Yeah. I think it's in the exit of this giant view turn here. Yeah. That's yeah. It's right up. here. No, no, not yet. Not, not there. Not yet. No, no, it's this point right there. Right yeah. there, into the right there. Yeah. Because it just sticks out of there. the track. Whoa. <laughs> that was <laughs> Alta's Hill going to China and back. Oh, it is. Oh, 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 oh,
It's a real look like else. Oh, you got the gears too. Wow, nice move. Yeah, too. that's a pass right but there. I, but yeah. I think both the tires are almost completely destroyed, so I think that's why we start to see a lot of mistakes. You're going to see some Harry Gray graining on a L or on Armstrong. Oh, yeah. Vice guy on lap 18. Yeah, yeah, and he's going to the and, pit. Um, a bit of an alternative oh. entrance to the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and As there's um, a lot. I know from inside information that uh, Stig's DK cousin should be doing a three stop. So yeah, that so. strategy might play, you know, havoc. As we can see here, Vice Guy, this is probably going to be his last, so he only did three stops in all. Yeah, and still... And, uh, he should be able to take the last nine laps in, on these tires. Yeah, well, we'll see how that is too. Well, that's uh, two for Singers. His bike is going to annoy them. Still in so that's yeah, that's a little probably bit multi-21 right there. Yeah, I think Vice Guy just backed off in not to annoy them. Yeah. Yeah, and the two Force Indias playing the team tactics there. Oh, here we go. That is that's that's music going into the pit, and we can see that the left tire is completely gone. What a no. Yeah. <laughs> no rubber <laughs> left. That's, that's, that's just a rim. That tire, it's unbelievable that it still exists on that car. I don't think it exists. Ah, it's just. It's just rolled out. off to somewhere. So, yeah. option tires, so they're going to be pretty gone towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's a bit optimistic, I think. Yeah. Pretty op optimistic, but as we, you know, as we discussed, I is amusing likes to set the fastest lap, so we'll have the best chance setting the fastest lap. Yeah, as we can see, I That's think Stig was just coming up behind him. Yeah, so yeah. we can see the, the rookie driver, Jamie uh, Fopley, or whatever we can call his, call him. Yeah, Jamie, uh, it's, Jamie. It's, it's been three weeks and we still don't know how to pronounce his name. Yeah. I'm just calling him Jamie Oliver from now on, that's way easier. <laughs> yeah, but he probably cooked awful food, so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. He's, he's from the Netherlands, so I don't know. Yeah, well, well he can make food. Ah. Is, it, is it even a cooking channel? I didn't realize we were discussing <laughs> cooking. Um, uh, this, this is right, a most, most so, channel, so. So, oh, yeah. you know, Yo Dog is the best cooker because he cuts everybody up. And, uh, <laughs> you know. And then he just uh, fries them in the corner. Oh, well, yeah, I love 20 now. The last that we could see. I think Armstrong is one. This Armstrong chasing by being chased by Stelling. Yeah. Stelling is oh, quite a bit right. behind, but Armstrong's yeah, size might be destroyed. Is stealing on fresh tires? I mean, because think yes. I think stealing okay. tires is a bit newer than Armstrong's. Are it, is he on options though? Because that might play another it's flag. Like that's the right side of the uh, right side. Yeah, that's the option tires. Yeah, I think so. The left tire there is absolutely gone on Armstrong's yeah. car. Yeah, he's, he's going just starting yeah. to get back. Oh, oh. Oh. Can on, Stelling come on the inside? This, oh. Armstrong cuts it a bit. On the, to the last corner. lap. Oh! Can he do it? Where is he? Oh, there he yes. is. It looks like he's done it. But will he maintain the lead to the rest? Look yeah, I think he's got it. Yeah, yeah, extending a bit. If he's not gonna lose it, yeah, he will get the seventh place. Wow, what a move that! That, move. Now that is classy driving right there. Here we have Vice guy on the 27th lap. This is gonna be his last lap since he since he yeah. was lapped. Oh we can see at Ice Music have won the race. So which means that Ice Music have Holy won split three, uh, driver championship, which was amazing comeback oh from him after God. all his massive disconnecting. You can see Vaska just trying to get back as quick as he can. As 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 quick as he can. Oh my! Yeah, he only God. got one minute to fi finish oh him, so yeah, he should be able to do the last two turns in oh one minute, I think. Shit. Yeah. And well, as we can see, um, stealing, stealing DK, cause uh, uh, stealing oh. DK, uh, saying holy shit every time now. Yeah. Uh, in the Vasca here. Oh, oh. Vasca is just. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. I, I, I think he's just I, fooling around now I because. Think that was on purpose. Yeah, I don't think. He knows he has nothing to lose, so he might as well just ruin that stupid and, uh, thing. The most classy finish of wow, the year oh, goes guys. to Vice Guy. Yeah, definitely. So here we go with the result. Size Amusing taking a win. Uh, Stig AK Cousin for Lotus as well, taking a second place with. Which brings Lotus back into the con Constructors' Championship, but crucially, Winters finishes ahead of Stealing DK for a second in the Championship. So the race is going to go down to uh, Brazil for a second in the Championship. So that's something to stay tuned for. Yeah, definitely, we're gonna get some uh, and see some actions at Brazil. So here we go com confirmation that Eyes Amusing has won the Championship. And uh, look at that. Uh, only 11 points between yeah. Winters and Steam DK. The championship is wide open. Yeah, well, well not the championship, but the well, second place second. in the championship. Yeah, the, and we'll probably see some very interesting fights at Brazil. I can make sure that will happen. Yes, I think, uh, th well, they've got nothing to lose, so they're probably going to go for it. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll see you guys at Brazil.